Joel Hanser. Today we're at the legendary, legendary Billy Bob's Texas. So this is in Fort Worth, Texas. This is the world's biggest honky tonk. They have a restaurant here seven days a week. They got like countless Guinness records. They got awards. It's just like they do everything here. Like seriously, go to their website. Just check out the artists that have either been here or do come here. Crazy, crazy music venue. They also have live bull riding. But today we're here for the biggest, just the biggest, biggest, biggest food challenge in actually all of Texas, guys. We're talking a massive smoked prime rib challenge. But for this challenge today, guys, we have an 11 and a half pound, yes, 11 and a half pound smoked prime rib, yes, which is crazy. You know I love beef, so this is gonna be a hell of a lot of fun. Then we're gonna have three large sides each way, about a pound, plus a whole bunch of cracklings. I've never had cracklings before, but they're like a chicharron, they're like a fried pig skin. Um, so anyway, somebody's having some fun. We're gonna go have some fun, let's go eat some food. Uh, we're gonna have nine minutes to complete the challenge today. The value is over $400, so let's go have some fun, let's eat some food, wish me luck. I'm definitely gonna need it. I don't think I'm gonna finish this, but we're here for the experience, and this place looks really, really cool. And this is being brought to us today by our friends at FPOS, which is a restaurants technology solutions provider. Um, guys, they do great things. Whether you look for POS systems, security systems, definitely hit them up. And uh, a message for them right now. Hi guys, Patrick Stetz here with FPAWS Group. We are a local restaurant technology solutions provider that helps provide the tools to help restaurants better manage their business. We provide point of sale systems, online ordering, credit card processing, and more to independent restaurants in Ohio, Indiana, Pennsylvania, Kentucky, Texas, and other surrounding states. Call us today, mention this video, and receive 10% off the purchase of a new point of sale system. We have many leasing, rent to own, and other financing options available starting at $55 a month with no money down. So let's go in and uh, let's eat. All right, so here are the beautiful, 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 beautiful looking prime rib. This looks fantastic. Plus we have a whole bunch of cracklings. We have some green beans, some potato salad, and some coleslaw. All those are all specialty items. So here are the head chef, Alex. Alex, what do we have going on here, man? Because this is like, this is insane. This right here is a, a, a prime cut of our prime rib. Uh, this is a Omaha Select uh, prime rib. This is smoked with mesquite in-house for about six, almost seven hours. Uh, then we let it cool, then we garlic crust it, and then cook it for about another four or five hours to a perfect 133 for you. So it's, yeah. it's gonna be perfectly mid-rare in there. I'm, I'm uh, so excited, and I know, so this was 11 and a half pounds to start. Correct. I know you mentioned these are specialty items as well. So what's yeah. special about our items here? Uh, the Southern style green beans, it's just a Southern staple here um, in Texas, really the South Southern states. Uh, we do a little bit of apple cider vinegar in it. Okay. So you'll get a little hint of um, little just a little bite, a little tang to it. I like it. I, when I started here, I, I personally, I'm just not a big fan of mayonnaise. Okay. Uh, so I changed the items just a little bit. My coleslaw is kind of a Cajun style coleslaw okay. with uh, honey mustard and Creole mustard. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, the uh, baked potato salad we do is a sour cream base with uh, bacon, chive, cheese, and sour cream. I can vibe with that. A little bit yeah. tanginess, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, then we have these cracklins, which are fried pig skins. Yeah, but these are amazing. I love these. I actually just brought these onto the menu. These are a fresh fried pork cracklin that we do. And we partnered with uh, uh, Texas Pete Hot Sauce. Nice. And they're amazing, man. They come fresh out of the fryer to you. That you can still hear them crackling. And... Uh, you pour the hot sauce and it sounds like fireworks and it's just, it's a fun experience. I've actually never had crackling, so this will be a very exciting endeavor. Um, but at that, I think pretty much let's get started. I know we have some jalapenos, um, pickles and onions just kind of as palate cleansers here. Um, but yeah, I mean, what about these sauces? We have all these sauces here. I mean, well, you've got your classic horseradish cream right there for prime rib. Ooh, delicious. Uh, 
Uh, that's the au jus right there. Uh, cook down a little drippings oh, for you. Oh, yeah, that's that right there is our in in-house made Billy Bob's barbecue sauce. Smells good. World famous. Man. I got some real kind of nice sugary smokiness. Uh -huh. And this is a kind of a guava guava Caribbean bar barbecue sauce. Something we're kind of experimenting with. I can vibe with it. Yeah. All right. I know you said you want to cut this. Yeah. 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 Let's see this cut, man. I'm I'm I'm. I'm Excited doesn't cut it, you know what I'm saying? Well, no pun intended. It's almost like uh, it's almost like birthing a child, you know. I got to see this whole thing through from start to finish. Woo. I'm gonna split it so you're gonna have four giant sections. Here. Okay, four giant sections. I can dig with that. Oh man, just like, that is like soft as butter. I don't know if you guys can see the way that's cutting. And you, how many people would this normally feed, did you say? Uh, normally, you're looking at about a comfortably from 50 to 60 people right 50 here. 50 to 60 yeah. people. The, on, on our banquets, we usually they usually choose from two to three different meats. So you've got one of these, a whole brisket, and probably about 20 halves of chicken. Looks right. nice and hot, looks yeah. very delicious. So uh, while well, that might as well get started here momentarily, um, we have a value of over $400 here, food for 50 to 60 people. So. Uh, Wish me luck and let's get started. Thank you so much, Alex. Really appreciate that. So this is definitely the biggest piece of meat that like, challenge at all in Texas. So how about we get started? We'll say the count of, oh man. Five, four, three, two, one, let's eat. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Oh, beef. This is huge though. Oh, you got that smoke? Mm. I've never had a smoked prime rib, but... Mm. Tender, juicy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that fat. Oh, man. That fat is just beautifully rendered. Mm. Mm. What'd you say is on the crust again? Sorry. What'd you say is on the crust again? Uh, it roasts the garlic, smash it to a paste, and then re roast it all over the place. Man, that is damn good. Mm. Very well cooked. And you got some real Texas sweet tea. Can I grab sweet tea? Look at that beautiful fat. <laughs> so flavorful. Mm. Mm. Oh man. I'm sorry everybody, I wish I could share. Mm. This thing is huge though. This may take a little while. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Billy Bob's in Fort Worth, Texas taking on what is literally like the biggest food challenge, pretty much the biggest food challenge I've ever, ever, ever attempted. We had an 11 and a half pound piece of smoked prime rib. We had three sides of over a pound each, plus an absolutely massive pile of cracklings, literally probably equating to upwards of 16 pounds of food. This thing was huge. I'm using gloves because I have a cut on my hand. Otherwise, normally I don't care about getting dirty, but cuts don't like food. As much as my mouth does. I'll put it that way. Making this thing not only a very Texas-sized challenge, but the biggest food challenge in Texas and the biggest piece of meat in a food challenge that I ever know of in the world. Like, this thing, again, was just absolutely insane. And the price value on this of over $400, again, absolutely insane. What I will say though is we had absolute quality, quality ingredients. We're talking prime beef. Yes, Omaha prime beef for this prime rib. We have, again, the highest quality of sides and these house-made cracklings. Like, again, when it comes to quality and flavor, this thing was absolutely on point. 
the prime rib was smoky, but yet super tender, super juicy, and just oh so fatty like a prime rib. I'm trying to try these things here. This is the uh, some of the oju. Try the oju on it. Woo! Beautiful flavor. Horseradish cream. And you have to appreciate the love that went into this. 16 hours of cooking. Oh man, I'm very good. We did have 90 minutes to complete the challenge. And again, a huge thanks to our friends at FPOS or FPOS um, for helping to set up this challenge here at Billy Bob's. Because like I said, this was a very memorable experience. Not only is Billy Bob's a really world-renowned music venue, the world's biggest honky-tonk, but again, they got some killer, killer food. And I know they do obviously like caterings, they do lots of big events, and they also have their restaurant there. But like I said, the food was absolute fire. We got to meet the chef there at the beginning and uh, just like, oh man, we're in for a treat. So this is it, is this, which makes sense, this is the leaner side. So we'll get into some of this beautiful yeah, beef action. Fat in there, but it has most, most of the <laughs> See that just dripping? That is just like, too good. Mm. Mm. Oh man. That cap is just like melting your mouth. So in all reality, you know, like I said, this was a challenge. I knew it was going to be memorable. I had no confidence that I was going to beat this thing. Like I said, with the weight of everything, it was just oh so huge. I do love a good beef. I love, love, love beef. But of course, being like a prime rib, a steak, a beef, etc., it is kind of a harder food to eat. It just takes a long time to consume. So I knew we were going to need the time, and like I said, I really had no confidence that we were gonna end up finishing this, but I knew it would just be a fun experience nonetheless. I think this is also calorie free. That's a joke. If you think this is a crazy amount of food, please hit that like button and comment down below if you think we'll actually be able to complete this challenge. At that, if you want to grab yourself some merch, such as the Hellright shirt I am wearing, definitely check out joeleats.com. And uh, yeah, all that info is in the description for my website, also my Instagram, and my Facebook page. At that though, I'm going to leave you to this for now. I will hop back in with a little bit of commentary later on. But like I said, we're in for a heck of a ride. So let's sit back, relax, and let's go. I can hear a crackling's crackling. And some of these beautiful beef juices get on them. But yeah, we're probably uh, maybe like uh, coming on seven minutes, I believe. Um, whew. It's a lot of food, guys, but it is very delicious. We're almost halfway through the meat, but admittedly, I'm already filling up a bit. So, let's see, I do this belt, get an extra couple of horsepower in there, smart room. Because we're going to need it. That's hella for sure. But man, <laughs> what a treat. Texan, which is the proudest moment of my life. <laughs> Love it. Okay, about 10 minutes in. Woo! Officially almost halfway through the steak or the prime rib. Well, man, this thing is killer, I'll tell you that much. It's very, very good, killer huge, killer delicious. Uh, it's gonna take some time.
but I really like it. It's very soft, very tender, very moist. I definitely got a burp. Hopefully that'll come out at some point. Anyway, let's, uh, we'll keep it up. I'm gonna try to work that, work some of that air out of me. Mm. Prime rib. That freaking lot of fat in there. That is uh, calorie free. this guava barbecue sauce that's going on. Ooh. Very unique. Very um kind of sweet and fruity but almost a little well it tastes like guava let's be honest. One thing I probably should have done is tried to use the restroom before this. Should I have tried to empty out? It's very rich. Put it that way. Very rich. So come up 90 minutes, my light just died. So yeah, whatever we are, make fun of Sam. A lot of food. It's actually so tender that I'm trying to like just pull it, like go like this. And it's just like falling apart in my hand. So it's very tender, very well cooked. This is a lot of food, guys. We'll see what happens, but this is definitely a Texas-style piece of beef. Last quarter. Woo. No shortage of beef, that's for sure. Yeah, this was like 11 and a half pound piece of meat. Whoa. So, very delicious though. As soon as we finish this, we go on the sides, it should move a little quicker. Steaks are generally, steaks are prime ribs. Beef are just kind of sometimes slower to eat. Just because they revolve, they revolve quite a bit of chewing. So, keep on trucking.
Well, I always say my uh, favorite, my favorite, uh, my favorite animals are cows. They taste delicious. <laughs> I can also tell you how I am vegan. I have good logic. <laughs> So 25 inch stem, crazy huge. We're making the way. Like an eighth left, maybe. Oh. I knew this would take a while, but definitely take a long time. Like I said, these things will move quicker. Hopefully I'll have room for everything. Ugh. A lot of food, a lot of the same thing. I could mix it up and vary it a little bit, but we'll see how that goes. So by this point, I was really starting to struggle. We had already consumed probably, you know, like what, 10 pounds of the beef? and it was so rich, it was very, very savory, and I was very much filling up. Like I said, I knew this was gonna take a long time to eat just because it's a, like a prime rib, like because the food has requires chewing and stuff, but I had no idea that it was gonna take me this long. I guess, again, I really underestimated the size of that piece of meat. So, again, to be about 30 minutes in, not even done the beef, I knew we were in trouble. And I really, again, was just hoping that I'd be able to at least be able to taste everything. Um, the meat was, it was really excellent. Uh, like I said, just so much of it. Um, never before did I ever want to say that I think I had too much beef, but for one sitting, I do think this 11 and a half pound prime rib was too much for a single person in a single sitting. It was funny how they said that this size of prime uh, rib would serve something like 50 people at an event. So it just kind of goes to show the actual sheer volume of beef that I was consuming. Again, super rich, super fatty, super delicious, but oh, just so, so, so much meat. All right, we're almost done the beef. Not that I'm excited to see it go, but it was a lot, that is for sure. Definitely a big, big, big animal. Big, big piece of an animal. They get, they get work. I've been chewing for 36 minutes, or 35 minutes straight. We've been eating for 35 minutes straight. But, we're pretty much done the beef. I think there's people cheering me on. Thank you. Shout out the legendary guitar bar we're in as well. Featured in a number of movies. So, however many minutes into beef and chill, I guess there is a little bit of fat left here, but most, like pretty much all that's gone. Let's see if I can get to this, if I can even finish it. But let's keep trucking. Let's try my first crackling. I'll try it without hot sauce first. So basically, it's again fried pork skin stuff. So. It's pretty good. It's kind of like a chicharron. In certain cultures, I like the tail chip. Uh, I got a burp again, but it'll go. Oh. At least these are a little less chewing than the uh, than the beef, but I better pick things up.
So how am I a vegan, you may ask? Well, if you're kosher, you eat kosher foods, right? That makes you kosher. Well, if I eat vegan foods, then I'm a vegan. Cows are vegan. So hypothetically, I'm a vegan. Vegan animal, vegan Joel. Same thing. <laughs> now if I ate a bear, I wouldn't be vegan. But cows, fair game. So now, when it comes to these cracklings, these things were actually freaking awesome. Um, I was just, you know, really trying to focus on getting them done so I know I wasn't doing too, too, too much talking. But I absolutely love these cracklings. And the combination of the cracklings and the hot sauce was just fire. Like, these honestly were so good. We did some Texas pea. I don't want to put too much on it because I find when I'm really full, spicy sometimes makes me feel a little nauseous, but otherwise I love hot sauce. They're definitely crackling though. 3D crackle. And Crazy crunch. Definitely a food item that I would love to kind of sit down and enjoy. Obviously, it's a very different situation when I was really trying to get these done and I was absolutely about to bust from being so full. Just for time, scope for doesn't measure. I'm just kidding, I just want you to hear the crackle. It's like a bowl of Rice Krispies made with pork. I think that's a thing. Yeah. Why not? Pork made fresh crispy. Check the speed, those really good dish on that. Well, I can still stand, everybody. That's a good sign. <laughs> I'm not promising that's going to be the case for long. There's a wheelbarrow you can roll down your food. Interesting flavor. Like a brine. <laughs> Bacon. I can still taste. A little bit. All right, beans are done. Woo. So these cracklings are like now. A little softer. Still super crispy though. I'm impressed. Cowboys just walked. <laughs> they just got a win. Hopefully, I can get a win too. That's the, that's what I'm worried about. I personally wasn't too worried about the Cowboys. Other people would beg to differ, but. Comment your, let's say, football team down below. Mine's the Cowboys. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a team. <laughs> Today it's the Cowboys. Yes. It's a big one, it's taking a long time, but we're gonna be doing the cracklings in a moment, but we only got the two sides left, so. Ah, it's gonna keep it up. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a ride. Hope nobody had plans this evening. Let's take a little bit. Yeah.
Who else would do a workout? Just chew for 50 minutes straight. <laughs> I will say that when I think about that, that's a long time to chew. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Maybe eating my tooth. There's a couple of really hard bits I can't, I literally can't do them. Nonetheless. Anyway, cracklings are done. Okay. Now just these massive sides of potato salad and coleslaw. Man, like I said, we're in for the ride. I may be missing a little bit of teeth, but it's okay. Casualties are to be expected. I live by that, I die by that. And I may die today, so. I lived a pretty good life, love you mom. Here I am. I should have some of this with the uh, prime rib. It's very acidic, it, very, it cuts that, uh, we'll cut that fat very well. Retrospect. The sides were also super delicious as well. The coleslaw was really, really nice. They refer to it as like a Creole coleslaw, which I was not familiar with that terminology, but I did like it. It was kind of like a vinegar-ish based coleslaw, but like again with the mustard and everything in there, it did have a slight bit of more kind of thickness, a little bit more of a texture, um, you know, compared to just like a vinegar coleslaw, which can be, you know, pretty much like pretty runny um, and not creamy. I don't know if creamy is the right word, but you know, mustard has a little bit of a kind of creaminess to it. So there's a little bit of that in there. Um, good flavor. Again, definitely should have used it and ate it with the beef. Would have helped uh, that go along well. Um, and it's just these sides were so big. The flavors were great, but they were so big. I was struggling to eat them. I thought I was going to die, um, but you know, I kept on going. Last one. Oh, have we never time. Yeah, you're at 57. Okay. <laughs> well, guys, this is undoubtedly going to be the longest challenge I've ever done. The top before was like 59 minutes. Something seconds, there's no way we're getting this done in the next two minutes. So, you know, did Dallas go to overtime? No, they won. They almost went to overtime? Well, I'm in overtime today. I'm taking their overtime. <laughs> uh, try to lean so I have the most room, less pressure on my stomach. Uh, we're almost there, guys. Yeah, as long as my lungs don't expand, lots of room in my cavity. <sighs> oh my lord, there's a freaking bottle of whiskey in front of me. Good thing I didn't, he asked you, he asked you I'd take a shot. Good thing I didn't commit to that. I think I know. Yeah, I said I'd taste it, I'll taste it. Any more than that, I don't know what would happen. All right. Potato salad. Ah, oh, dear Lord Jesus, be with me. It is Sunday after all, thank you God. <laughs> So you have to realize by now, I had been literally eating non-stop for an hour, like just straight chewing for an hour. It was a lot of work. It was very mentally taxing, physically taxing, 
and it was basically like an athletic event. Not to mention how full I was, it was hard to breathe because my lungs couldn't expand because my stomach was so expanded. And everything about this was just so difficult at this point. Like I said, everybody, really, I do not recommend eating large quantities of food. Just don't do it. Like halfway through it, oh, I can see the light. <laughs> just kidding, that's my own light. <laughs> Is that good? Is that a win? Uh. An hour and five minutes on the dot. That took work. That took work. That was crazy. It was my longest food challenge ever. Definitely one of the toughest. For that, I want to give a huge thank you. Not only to FPOS for making this happen, but also Billy Bob's as well. Legendary spot here in Texas, super, super cool. The food was great. I've never actually had a smoked prime rib before, but that was absolutely fantastic. I really, really enjoyed that. The sides were really cool. The uh, coleslaw was fantastic. I've never had one like that either. Um, sauces were great. That was about that. So yeah, just nobody. Eat that much food, just don't. <laughs> you don't have to. I just did it so you don't have to. Like, really don't. Apparently, you know, like, prime rib for 50 people or whatever. So, with that, everyone, like I said, it was super awesome. I really appreciate it. Alex is holding the hat. So, I think I got a hat, which is pretty cool. Yes, so, I'm definitely going to... You are officially texting after that. I appreciate it. So you get your first texting. <laughs> you can uh, put on the hat if you want. I have a... Uh, I like it. Yeah, that's, that's not a bad look, I don't think. So you're gonna see me wearing this around. I definitely, uh, I'm a little messy on my hands. I don't wanna to touch it. It's uh, too uh, too good to mess that with. But like I said, everybody, that was a hell of a challenge. A lot of food, but I am so honored. I'm so happy, like I said, we gotta make this happen. This was so cool. So again, huge thanks to everybody. Um, and yeah, if you're ever in the area, stop on by. If you're a restaurant, hit up FPOS. And uh, that everyone, until next time, stay happy and hungry, happy eating. Again, just don't eat this much food. And I don't even know if I can reach the camera to say have a lovely day. Let's try it. Oh, have a lovely day. And here's my, here's my baby boy. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh. That was tough. That was tough. What is, is this like just the, the guitar bar generally just operate as a bar during the like is, night? What happens on these tables? This is my buffet, my buffet line. Cool. Uh, last year they actually made a collage out of a good portion of this space. It's actually still has a <laughs> Yeah. Well, if I was going to, it'd be better to do it before I eat. I'll put it that way, right? No, I'm just kidding. Here we have the first 50 live albums at Billy Bob's. Pretty impressive. And here we have the legendary, which is very, very, very exclusive, green room at Billy Bob's. You can see where we have all kinds of artists who have decided to decal the wall. We have signatures from 
all kinds of bands. Again, being one of the most notorious and famous, not only uh, music venues in Texas, but ultimately in the world. Um, this is just impressive to say the least. And I'm very, very blessed and honored to be uh, let back here, guys. This is uh, super impressive and definitely makes for a memorable experience just uh, to ha even be able to see a part of the history that this place has to offer. Yeah, look at all these amazing names. Yeah, just, uh, wow. The amount of, uh, yeah, the amount of artists, the amount of names, geez. That's impressive. Super. And right at the green room, we got horses. You can't get uh, any more, we'll say Texas or legit than that. So the place is not only a huge concert venue, it is very functional in honoring the rodeo heritage.